welcome back to Trends and Friends. I'm joined now with the Lubbock Children's Home, kind of talking about things that they have going on and in need right now because of COVID-19. How's it been going for you guys? Uh, it has been a challenge, I'm not going to lie. Uh, 70 kids uh, on campus full-time uh, with an unexpectedly long summer has made for some interesting situations. Uh, but we are all settled into the kind of the new normal. Um, we're excited about the potential of school starting. Um, and that so that kind of... Uh, the biggest challenge we face right now is kind of our fundraisers um, and the postponement of the physical in-person fundraisers and what that does for us. So, What are some things that y'all are doing or might need from the community right now? Uh, well, we're starting our big back to school push. Um, so obviously we've got a lot of kids that we need to get set up for um, success at school with school supplies and things like that. Um, and then just our daily needs that, uh, you know, toilet paper, paper towels, um, we have some diapers that we need, things like that, uh, shampoos and soaps and just your normal daily, uh, daily needs. What we're running into is just a lack of ability to purchase those, um, because of either limitations at the store, limitations in funding. Um, and these are items that we normally get from, um, like our church donors and things like that. When churches are meeting normally, um, we normally have a pretty good turnout from those, but, uh, it's definitely been a challenge this year. So people that are watching this, how is the best way for them to donate to y'all? Cause like, even if someone just donated one diaper a day, that can really help y'all. And it doesn't has to cost them a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, uh, we have Amazon wish list set up that we update frequently. Um, and the easiest way to find those is our Facebook page, uh, either Facebook or Instagram. Um, one of those two, we update those all the time. Um, and we also do uh, kind of emergency appeals through Facebook where, if we have a certain item that we're running critically low on, we'll put it out. Um, that kind of helps us to um, keep the public as up to date as possible on what we do need. How has the community support been? Have y'all gotten a good response so far? Absolutely, it's been amazing. Uh, we put out uh, probably early April, we put out an appeal specifically for toilet paper and paper towels. Um, and we received within a couple of weeks, we received about six months supply, um, which is, uh, quite a bit. Um, we go through two Costco packs a, a month in um, each cottage and and then we have our emergency shelter goes through a Costco pack a week worth of paper towels. Um, and so to get that much that quickly was was a big blessing for us. So what does that mean for you guys to kind of get the support, especially in this hard time where a lot of people are going through kind of needs? Uh, it means everything to us. Um, we are a nonprofit. We do receive a little funding from the state, but for the most part, um, you know, over a third of our funding is donor funding. Um, and a big portion of that is in-kind gifts or items like paper towels and toilet paper, soaps, uh, clothing, things like that. Um, and so it's, it's incredibly important to the operation here to have strong donor base and have um, donors that care. These are Lubbock's kids. Um, they, they live here for us, but with us, but they are, uh, they do belong to the community of Lubbock. And uh, so we rely heavily on the Lubbock community to help us um, provide for them. Um, and we are extremely blessed for what the Lubbock community does for us. Um, but yes, it's, it, it's every, it means everything to us for our donors to come through with these items. So. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And hopefully this will help get some more people maybe on that Amazon list or dropping off things for you guys. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate you reaching out and getting our word out there. Of course. We'll have more Trends and Friends after the break.